Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Tuesday Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about pretty much the most essential factor in animating. Um, this is, you will probably recognize this name, and you will probably, I'm sure some of you already know about this, but it's just such an important thing that I decided to make a Tuesday Tip edition about it, and try to take my own take on this, on this, um, thing. So, anyways, I'm going to bring up... Actually, I already have a new tab here. I'm going to write down Tuesday Tips. So hard to write on this thing. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, so I know most of you know about in-betweening and mainframes, but as I said, it's just so important that I have to take another... I have to take an episode to talk about this. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to make a new layer, and I will pretty much explain it by giving you an example. So I'm going to draw a cat here, like, just an easy little thing. Or, it doesn't have to be a cat, it can be anything. Okay, so here we go. So we have an animal here. Suppose um, what I'm trying to do is make this cat or animal travel from this side over to this side of the board. So I'm going to make a new layer, and this is just how I do it. I'm going to make my pen red so that I can actually see it. Some people, some people change the opacity of the layer, but I just like doing colors, different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy it make the necessary changes I'm just gonna copy this whole thing cuz there's not really much I can do right now um, I'm gonna bring the leg back well actually um, yes I can bring the leg back just make it into a walking motion I can change this later on because um, it might need to be changed up a little so I'm gonna make these legs like this and notice I'm doing it above the original frame because that's going to allow it to be accurate. And um, that will allow me to create a smooth and accurate animation. So actually the tail's incorrect there. Now this is what you do. So these two frames are called mainframes, you see? And I'm gonna put the beginning and the end of the animation. So basically like that. So those are the two main frames I need. And I'm actually gonna color this red and make the layer to image size because I have to keep the colors all organized. Now, so basically I'll tell you what these two frames do. These are the two main frames, the beginning and the end of the animation. Their purpose is just to make sure that I don't make any big changes, like if I distort the proportions or anything. That will be, pre that will be prevented by these main frames. Now, um, what you do then is you make the in-betweens. And I'm going to do just what I did. I'm going to use the original frame. I'm going to take red and color it in again. Now suppose he ducks his head in a little bit, you can do the same thing. Like what I would do is to make sure my heads are absolutely proportionate, I will copy the head, move it down so that I know it's proportionate, and then I will um, add it to the, the layer below it. Okay, so I got that. Now you see that's why, that's what allows me to make a smoother animation. So now I got this, and I'm going to do the tail. Now this is just so important in animating that, as I as I've said in like past episodes, I might take a couple a couple episodes to try to talk about this because it's just so essential. Um, so now I'm doing the stomach, 
And of course, I'm not going to really worry about the legs right now because I can change those because this is an easy walk motion. So just what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and actually I'll tell you a little tip that can make your animations even smoother. I'm not doing it now, but what you do is you take the frame, you pull it back, and then you do the paw and actually that will allow you to make sure to actually like keep the paws in the same area. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just trying to demonstrate mainframes. So I can do another episode on that. Don't forget that the arm can slide backwards. Oops. And then I'm just going to, what's this like? Okay, this leg is going to be pulled back. Then this leg forward. Okay, now this is where in betweening comes in. So I have here three frames. Basically what you want to do is you take this frame, you drag it, and you put it in the middle. So now I have three frames. If I turn this into an animation, it's going to be very short and stocky. But there's a, there's a word for these middle frames, but I forget. It's basically the main in-between, you might say. And then what you do to make it even smoother is you do, you do just what I did, except it's between these two frames, and then you do one between these two frames. So <clears throat> you're basically going to be copying the, f the first frame and making sure it's between the end frame and the first frame. That'll give you really smooth animations. And also, it's really helpful to draw it on top of the original frame like this. So you can just place it there and you know that your cat is proportionally correct. Okay, so this is just really, really important. Is there anything else I can say about this? I'm up to seven minutes. Normally the episodes are ten minutes. Because I don't want to cover too much in one episode. Okay, so um, just a little pointer here. I want to I wanna emphasize a little more that you can easily just draw on this preceding frame. Like, actually, I'm going to do it again just to give you a more clear understanding. Um, the thing is, whatever I draw right here in the middle has to be between this frame and this frame. It can't be beyond this frame. It can't be before. I could I could show you this a little easier if I was using if I was using a much more delicate animation like a face turn or something. But since this is a regular walk, I'm not gonna really be able to do that. But anyways, I will try my best. So basically this time instead of just copying this frame, I'm going to be using both of these frames and I'll show you how. Um so far I've been keeping the back straight, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, you know that a cat's break, a break, ah, can't speak. A cat's back is not going to stand absolutely straight. But that's not what I'm trying to emphasize at the present moment. Okay. So I'll show you exactly what I mean by this. I have the back right here, and that's going to give me the length of the cat. But instead of copying this preceding frame, I'm going to drag the back over and put it here. Because, no wait, sorry, um, what I need to do is just do a little more right here. Okay, I'm running out of time here, so I'll try to hurry up. Then what you do is you drag this main frame over here. You see how it um, works with this frame. So because this leg is over here, I don't want it exactly like that. So I'm going to make it like that. And then I'm going to drag it over to the preceding frame to make sure that matches. And it's above. It's, it's going forward, but it's not as forward as this frame. So then, instead of being like that, I can go something like that. 
instead of like that, I can go like that. And instead of that, I can go like that. Now, um, the reason these feet are not going to work out completely is because I have not taken the time necessary to make sure I'm on the right gate or it's actually going forward. I could uh, go over that in another episode. But um, for now, I'm just going to show you like basically what I mean by in-betweens. And um, so I'm going to copy the face again in a new ta in a new uh, layer, and I'm going to put it partially below what it was originally, because the neck here shows me where it was originally. Also, this is really difficult to explain, but I'm sure, I'm hoping the examples will help you understand. Okay, so I got that, then I take this frame, and I put it between. Now, as I said before, the leg motions are incorrect, but that's because I wasn't trying to emphasize it. And just to give you um, another little piece, I'm just duplicating it, but it, I'm just kind of trying to show you what it would be like. See, this is the beginning frame right here. Oops. This is the beginning frame, the end frame, the middle frame, which is the most important of the in-betweenings, and then the two red frames are more in-betweenings, and that's going to give you... That's going to give you a very fluid animation. But note that all these cats are proportionally correct. In other words, um, they didn't differ any in regards to the first frame because I was careful to copy it over the frame and then move it. Don't like, don't like try to like, like right here, if I just got rid of these frames real quick. Suppose I had this cat right here. Don't try to just like make a new frame and just try to draw the cat right there, because that's not going to go well. Rather, draw the cat on top of the other cat, then move the frame to where you want it to be, and that'll keep your cat proportionally correct. Alright, I'm at 12 minutes, and that's all I can cover for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will try to come out with another episode next Tuesday. See you then. Bye!